Hi guys. So, how are you guys doing? Today, I'm going to be seasoning this pack of chicken, okay? I'm going to season it. I want to try to prep it right before church. So when I come back, if I'm too tired, um, I can, um, it'll be already seasoned and the other part will just be ABC. So let's just chit chat while we try to do this. I took this out of the freezer yesterday and I put it in the refrigerator. But for some reason, it is still frozen. So, good morning. Good morning. Carson. Good morning. Good. So I'm going to um, use hot water to try to um, thaw it out. I thought by now it should have been defrosted, defrosted, but it didn't. So we're using hot water and a knife to poke it. It's like solid ice. Look at it. The seasoning is not really gonna go in that well. The way it's so frozen, but since I'm going to let it sit out, it's gonna thaw out before we get back from church, so which is a good thing. Give it time for the seasoning to penetrate into the chicken, okay? Are you team wash your chicken before you season it? Or do you just take it out of the pack and then you bake it? Sorry. Which which table do you belong to? Do you belong to the table we go to just rinse the chicken like I do. No vinegar, nothing. Just rinse it. Just put it in a pan. Or you belong to the table of those who just um, take it out of the pack and just bake it or fry it. Whatever they, ha whatever they have to do to it. Or are you one of those people who washes your chicken with vinegar and lemon? I think it's lemon. To kill the extra germs. But um, I believe that. I think it's not necessary. <laughs> so I just wash it. Just rinse it out like this. Because you know. You get to cook it for so long. And I always ask myself, what's the point? What's the point in putting um, vinegar and lemon in it if you're going to cook it for a long period of time? Doesn't that excess heat kill the germs? Or maybe it doesn't. What do I know, right? But to each their own. I am still team. It's less stressful for me too. It's very less stressful. Do it this way. Just do it whatever way pleases you. Hmm? For me, what are you doing? Hmm? Carson got tattoos yesterday at the fair. So. Everything's down there. Now we're going to season the chicken. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to season the chicken. First thing, garlic powder. Garlic 
Garlic is very, very good. I feel like I cook, I put garlic in everything. And I also use what is called seasoned salt. Just a little bit. I will sprinkle just a little bit on it. Barely anything. Because I like to mix my spices. I like to put a variety of seasonings on my chicken. So just a little bit. But there's this thing I do, right? When I'm seasoning my chicken. On one side, I put one type of seasoning. And then on the other side, I put another type of seasoning. So it blends together and you have a unique flavor. So I put garlic powder, which goes everywhere. This is finished. And I put a little bit of seasoned salt here. And then on the other side of the chicken, when I flip it, I'm going to put a different seasoning mix, okay? Because that's just how I season my chicken. So I'm going to bake this. These are boneless chicken thighs. These are boneless chicken thighs. I still put garlic powder on the other side. And then... Uh -uh. I said take a shower, you'll change. Go take a shower. And then I put some poetry seasoning. I put some poetry seasoning. I, 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 I'm doing my stuff. I put some poetry seasoning on the other side of the chicken, remember. On that first side, I didn't put poetry seasoning. This is a different He's flavor. It's just always makes my chicken have a unique flavor because it blends together and I don't put too much of it. And then I put this um, Weber chicken seasoning. This is different Weber chicken seasoning. So see? Each side has a different seasoning blend. And then when you bake it, it gives it that unique, delicious, mouth-watering taste. It's just like, ah, every bite has a different taste and flavor to it. Okay? So that is the end of it. I'll show you guys what it looks like. I'm going to let it marinate for about... An hour and a half, two hours. And then we'll bake it. This is the final result of the seasonings. Look at it. I don't put too much, just a little bit. Let it marinate and it's just going to sink in. Just going to go right into it. Okay? Let me know. How do you season your chicken and which side of the table do you sit on when it comes to washing chicken all right bye